What's good, everybody? Welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben. I'm a USBC Silver Certified Coach, and today we're taking a look at the all-new Anger from Hammer. If you're new here or you're not already a subscriber, now is a great time to get on board. Here at Bowler's Paradise, it's our mission to help bowlers of all skill levels improve their game, and subscribing is the best way to support that mission. So while you're down there, be sure you hit that notification bell too so you don't miss out on our next review. Well, the mystery of which bowling ball Bruce Banner would use is officially solved. I'm always angry. The all new Hammer Anger brings back a modified version of the previously used infamous core with its 2.56 RG and an 049 differential. Then on the outside is the HK22 CT Reactive Flip cover stock, which is a modified version of what was used on the Arctic Vibe. So for the layout, I decided to go with a 4x4x4 2LS layout. Now this is one that I don't use terribly often as it is about as strong as I can drill a bowling ball, but I figured with the anger being a lower tier piece, why not let it eat? The likelihood based on the core and cover combination is that it's not going to be unusably strong. And with how good the Arctic vibe was with a similarly strong layout, I figured I couldn't go wrong going strong. And on the lanes, this thing was so good, it literally broke a pin. The Anger even set a new record for strike percentage in a review for this channel, so here comes a well-deserved glowing review. The strong layout matches up with this surprisingly strong cover very well and provided a shape that was very easy to be comfortable with. And that was my favorite part about throwing the Anger. It's got that classic high RG pearl shape that is tailor-made for my eye. Honestly, this is my favorite kind of ball motion. I learned how to strike with high roads and a primal rage, so seeing Hammer come out with a competitive but similar shape with the now pretty much perfected HK22 base material is something worth celebrating. But even though my eye loves it, there are a couple of drawbacks to this one. First, the name sucks and I wish it was something different, but more importantly, it's not a ball that's great in the track area. High RG pearls like this are pretty much never good in that area for me, but the anger shows a definite weak side around third arrow. But if you're ready to add this one to your arsenal, I'd recommend pairing it with a Brunswick Ethos Hybrid as well as a Theorem Pearl from Track. The Ethos Hybrid is a great benchmark for bowlers who like cleaner options, and then the Theorem Pearl would be a great complementary shape to the Anger in how it uses core dynamics to get through the pins in a different way. So jumping to our cross brain comparisons, I first took a look at the new Road Warrior from Storm, and here I see a piece that's pretty similar in overall shape and hook potential. Now there are some subtle differences for sure, mostly in that the Anger is slightly more cover dominant, but in reality, if one of these pieces looks good, there's a pretty good chance the other will look just as good in the same part of the lane. Then I took a look at the Primal Rage Evolution from Motive, and here I see a shape that's just a bit more core dominant than the Anger. Because this Primal Rage has a higher differential, the hook phase starts a little bit earlier, but again, similar to the Road Warrior, this one and the Anger have a lot of overlap, so bowlers would be best served picking only one of these three options to add to their arsenal. But with that, here's my recommendations on the types of bowlers that I think would match up well with the Anger from Hammer. The first is Rev Dominant Bowlers. Just like so many other high RG symmetrical pearls, this one from Hammer is a great choice for players who like to play the inside part of the lane all the time. Once some friction develops, the anger will give these players a safe but hard hitting shape that won't quit no matter how far left you get. The second recommendation is for players with a high axis of rotation. Because this one has the higher RG and a decently strong cover, high axis rotation players will be able to open the lane up when they have to get inside without the fear of it overreacting if they get it into friction too quickly. So while the all new anger from Hammer might be the perfect ball for a Pixar character, in your hands, it might just be what is off your opponent the most. And you can pick this up today and much more at bowlersparadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Thank you to my friend Ryan Shafransky for the drilling of this piece and to Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. But as always, remember you guys, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a Bowler's Paradise. Peace. Okay.